Well, for more on that dispute between Turkey and Iraq, Hugo Yashin Asel joins me in the studio. He's an international security expert at the Istanbul uh, T. Jaret University. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for joining us. So, um, Turkish troops have been present in this region for more than a year now. Mm -hmm. Why is Iraq reacting like this now? Mm -hmm. I think the most crucial point of this issue can be entitled on this question that the current situation and the discourse analysis of the leaders both from the side of Turkey and both from the side of Iraq should be understood very well related to the current situation in Syria. This must be most related with the Russian actions and the combination between Russia, Iran and central government of Iraq. Otherwise, they didn't say anything about the actions on the northern side of Iraq or from the Turkey side. Uh, they didn't say, please withdraw your uh, troops from the north side of Iraq two and a half years. They just doing this because fighting against Daesh, a uh, uh, central government of Iraq defeated as well, I think. But the Turkey, which shows its uh, protect the, their borders and their own country by doing these acts other side of the country, also, Prime Minister Davutoğlu announced this shows the latest attack on the Bashika camps forced Turkish soldiers injured. That shows the uh, right of Turkish uh, troops to being there. So what will the United Nations be forced to do now that Iraq has made mm -hmm. a formal complaint mm -hmm. about uh, the Turkish presence? Yes, and the, the UN uh, shows its interest to the issue and send a letter to Turkish government, please withdraw your troops over there. But it also signs a new agreement process between Iraq and Turkey. Please be, get together and talk on the issue and solve to de-escalating the issue. Also President Obama called Mr. Erdogan, please de-escalate the issue by withdrawing your troops. Turkish troops already, uh, 150 troops uh, get back from the Iraq, but they are also located in north still, but not in Bashika. But Turkey would like to get a concrete action plan from the Iraq side, because this threat become a regional and also global one, whether in Paris, whether in Ankara, whether in Suruç, whether in Hatay. Do you think the reality is that there are discussions going on yes. behind the scenes yes. to try and de-escalate this? Uh, yes, I think we have to uh, understand the issue between three points. When we put in a, an angle like the, the discourse analysis of the leaders, both sides, Iraq sides, Turkey and Russia, and the reality that contending on, this is a uprising threat to uh, regional countries, Turkey, Syria, Iran, and the other sides of the issues. And the next and upcoming action plans should be done, and the Iraq side should be put concrete acts and plan uh, combating to Daesh. Otherwise, Turkey has to uh, has to protect its borders. Okay, thank you very You're much welcome. for your time. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome.